East Orange, New Jersey, one of the biggest cities in Essex County, uh, a, a city that's middle class but urban at the same time. And uh, it's not exempt from like other cities of, of uh, gun, gang violence or gun violence or, or so many other things that usually happen. But we thought it was necessary to talk to people from, from the city to give their thoughts and their opinions and their, you know, what is life like that people need to really start understanding. And you know, I have a young brother that's to my left from East Orange, and I have an older brother who's been around for a while from East Orange. And one of the questions that a lot of folks ask that may not know is that, you know, what is life like in East Orange, like in other urban cities? What is it? What is um, you, you old school? You've been around a while. You know, what are the young folks are dealing with then, and how they dealing with situations then? Well, back then it was everybody dealing with each other on the basis of um, respect and um, living in the neighborhood, growing up, and knowing everybody that's on um, the neighborhood today. To live in community like this, not know nobody. The kids don't have no role models. Their role models um push drugs most of the time. You know, that's one of the role models they see in the area like this. You know, so they, when they um come around here, it's like um something. It's like the activities they got when they play basketball. It's like one of the only things they got to do because there's no recreation halls or nothing around here. No schools don't hold no kind of um, meetings for you. That's on um, like out here, like the ones out here I see every day. You know, because I live right in the community, so I see um, no fathers, um, mostly, you know, like I said, you know, maybe walk around together like a wolf pack. You know, nobody, nobody to guide nobody. Just you can do as you want to do. You know, disrespect people all around here, like I said, um, but we just would need more of um, we need more counselors and people like that. Like I say, even in this uh, park here, there's not, not a bathroom in there. Mm -hmm. So you look at it and say, when they have to go, they go behind the tree or whatever. That's already the messed up part about it, that city hall sitting right over there, a block and a half. And, they, and the park look like this. What say you, young man? How old are you? Uh, well, and uh, what do you do on a day like today with your friend? What do you see your future like? What do you want to be when you grow up? You be an older fellow responsible. You do have a choice, you know that, right? You either go, like my man said, you either can hang around with your friends, play basketball, and be nothing, or you can stand up and be something. So which one you choose? So uh, in doing so, there's a certain responsibility like that. You know what I'm saying? Gentlemen like this man right here got a story to tell. So and one of the things that he could probably tell you is that life is a little bit better than falling on the knee side and just doing nothing but hanging out in the park doing nothing, getting caught up in all kinds of crazy stuff that can get you in death. So, you know, there's always words for the wise, right? Right? There's another gentleman, one, two, come on, turn. Just another gentleman from East Orange. I was just, I'm just asking a, uh, another friend. It's almost like three generations. We have a younger gentleman, long, about 12 or 13. We got another fellow under 30. And we got other fellow in the end of 40 to maybe 50. So this is like three generations of, of, of folks living in in the neighborhood of East Star. That is just as much a subject as anybody else of going one way or the other. So I just want to, you know, just tell me what a person like you in your twenties, right? What is what is life like for you in terms of being successful? All right, I got that. Yeah, yeah. Now, what is life like for you, for you? And you're in your 20s now. Yeah. You're a young black man living in the 
in an urban suburban area. That's what they call these stars now, urban suburban. And what is life like for you? And, and is, is there a struggle? For you? Okay. Um, yes. I've been living in a struggle for um, the past five, seven, seven years. Um, in and out of jail a little bit. Um, in and out of the homeless shelters. Just trying to find my way. Um, never really had family that was dead for me, so I have to make my own way. For me to be successful, just to ma maintain my humbleness and stay on the correct path, and don't let my environment, don't let myself fall victim to my environment. Basically, um, I like school and, and I like to sing, so my thing is to go to school. And if I'm gonna sing, I'm singing, do what what I can to the best of my ability. At this point, you're gonna step out of character. Can you? You say you like singing. Yeah. Can you sing us? A note right now. Can you put a note together that will go along with what Salam Ishmael is talking about? All right. Something I wrote. I'm saying same thing a little bit. In and out of jails, I'm sent from home to home. Cold and nights, hunger and took all my fight. With nowhere to go, I'm so alone. I want to go home, but no place like that exists. Somebody tell me where I'm going. It's like I'm waiting because I just blow it through in. And damn, I'm struggling, just trying to win. But I can't stay holy in this cold world of sin. I gotta go somewhere, I gotta get away. Yeah, it's a little something. Wow, that's, 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 that's one that's pretty good. If someone good. wanted to reach out to you after this is aired on YouTube, Facebook, and uh, World Wide Web, social media, how would they contact you and give us your name and some way of contacting you? It wouldn't be me contacting you. I'm I'm just going to post it, yeah. but thousands of people will see it. So how would they contact you? Okay, my name is Amir. I go by the name of Spaz and I also go by the name of Vocals. You can add me on Facebook at S Vocals Space R R U on Facebook. Okay. That's the side. So so this is just a little bit sentiment of just a, a little spigot of what 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 three generations of individual black men go are dealing with right now. We have a again a twelve year old coming into manhood. We have a young man who just arrived to manhood, and we have a brother who has been in manhood. So this is the kind of struggles that we deal with, you know, and, 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 and this is just an example. This is not, East Orange is like any other city in America that where, where we are the dominant uh, 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 population in town. And we have, still have a struggle. We still have the injustices. We still have the, 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 the lack of opportunities, the lack of jobs, or what have you. But, but in the icing of all that, there's individuals that are still willing to move forward and try to make things happen. So that's what's happening in these storms, and that's how we're putting it down. So, you know, one of the things I want to say, we having a, uh, I'm going to share with you, uh, we having a walk for solutions that's going to be September 10th. That's Saturday, September 10th. We're going to be uh, in front of the East Orange uh, City Hall at, t at 12 p.m. There are going to be other uh, activists that's coming from the area, and we're going to walk from there to 15 miles we're walking. You know, some of us are going to drive, some of us are going to go by motorcycle, some are going to go by bike, but our, our purpose is to go to 13 cities and end up in Plainfield on that day. And that's going to be Saturday. We're going to be at, uh, in front of uh, East Orange City Hall at 12 noon sharp, and we want folks to join you. Because see, these, these, these three individuals right here, it just gave you just a little bit of black Americans inside the minds and the ears and the bodies of black men in America that, you know what I'm saying, that there, are, there is very, there is hope and there is a possibility. And it's for us to, to let the shine on them and it's for us to take part and take responsibility and also take heed. You know, it's, it's one thing to say that, that those of us are successful, like the LeBron James and uh, many others that's out there that are making millions and billions and, and talk about the cause, and talk about the issue of violence or drugs or whatever. And it's another thing to go into those hoods and be able to interact with those individuals that live this every day and then share their wealth their opportunity and the same thing, that just to sprinkle a little bit and to help them along their way. So, you know, this this is be something that we just wanted to share with you in the audience. Till next time.
close this out with a song? Uh, kind of song. You're a singer. I'm just a... <laughs> Are you serious? How do you go on? I don't got nothing. Sleeping? Go.